The Airbus A380, the world's largest passenger aircraft, was designed to revolutionize air travel. Its purpose? To connect major hubs efficiently, carrying up to 853 passengers in a single flight. But 2021 Airbus delivered its final A380, ending production after just 251 aircraft. So what happened? The A380 was built for a hub-and-spoke model, where passengers would fly to major airports and then connect to smaller destinations. It promised lower seat mile costs and relief for congested airports. However, the aviation landscape changed. Airlines started favoring point-to-point -point routes, and the A380's four engines became a liability in an era of rising fuel costs and environmental concerns. While the A380 struggled, two new aircraft were changing the game. The Airbus A350 and the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. These twin-engine wide-body jets brought several advantages. They use advanced materials like carbon fiber, significantly reducing weight and improving fuel efficiency. With seating for 250 to 350 passengers, they can serve both busy and thinner routes profitably. These aircraft can fly ultra-long haul routes, opening up new point-to-point -point connections. Two engines mean lower maintenance expenses compared to the A380's four. The A350 and 787 are accelerating the A380's decline in several ways. They make long, thin routes profitable, reducing the need for hub-and-spoke operations. Airlines can use these aircraft on various routes, simplifying their fleets and reducing costs. Modern interiors and better cabin pressure in these newer jets enhance passenger comfort. As airlines face pressure to reduce emissions, the more efficient twin jets become increasingly attractive. The pandemic's effect on air travel demand has made the A380's large capacity a liability for many routes. Major operators like Emirates and British Airways continue to commit to the A380. Emirates plans to fly them into the 2040s, while British Airways' cabin refurbishment plans suggest they intend to keep the aircraft for some time. The A380 remains popular with many travelers due to its spacious cabins, quiet operation, and smooth flight characteristics. This passenger preference can influence airlines' decisions to keep the type in service. The A380 is best suited for high-capacity, long-haul routes between major hubs. The aircraft can remain viable as long as there's demand on these routes. However, its role in global aviation is diminishing. The A350 and 787 represent the current direction of long-haul travel, efficient, flexible, and better suited to point-to-point -point operations. As these aircraft continue to prove their worth, they're likely to hasten the retirement of the iconic but ultimately impractical Super Jumbo. Is there any chance of revival for the A380 or a similar plane? In the short term, it's unlikely. The trend towards more efficient, flexible aircraft is set to continue. However, aviation is cyclical, and some factors could influence future developments. If major hubs become severely congested, there might be renewed interest in very large aircraft. Future propulsion technologies could make larger aircraft more efficient and environmentally friendly. Shifts in travel patterns or economic conditions could potentially create demand for high-capacity aircraft again. The A380's legacy will be that of an engineering marvel that pushed the boundaries of aviation even if it didn't quite fit the evolving needs of the industry. As we bid farewell to the era of the Super Jumbo, we look forward to seeing how the A350, 787, and future aircraft will shape the next chapter of air travel. Now, do you think Airbus A380 has a future in aviation? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out on the latest aerospace insights. Hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content.